then 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 nothing is important actually if, if we are actually, listen first of all G20 if, if just with the other countries should be the first priority of course india should be the first priority is the highlighted is india india the first initiative this the uh, how to the good relationship this other countries so one we have, we are in power so you know the everything like you know the police or force is in uh, under center so they can work why does the government is not doing this so good morning the panel good, good morning, morning sir how are you we all are fine sir is everything okay yes yeah. sir that's great today we have a very unique session and a different session it shows some intellectuality right where we will be using our speaking communication skills public speaking but with some intellectuality because reading newspaper understanding this giving the views and points about it is a little complicated and difficult yes. and we don't know we have only got 3 4 minutes and we just saw this such a kya khabar aayi hai and after that now we are on the stage in front of you and in front of the camera as well so now let's talk about first of all i just want to understand and want to know that uh, please tell some of the benefits of reading newspaper first so the first benefit of reading newspapers is that we get uh, information and knowledge uh, all over the world about the world about uh, our nearby places about our country and uh, everything including nature uh, technology industry business sports everything we get in the newspaper knowledge and please. Okay, sir. Ah, uh, you please. Yes. Uh, reading newspaper also make you an intellectual, I, in my opinion. And uh, reading newspaper also uh, take you to a this diverse uh, newses that are going through in our world, that are going in the world, and uh, more often it also increase your grammatical skills. and uh, comprehensive skills too great comprehensive skills grammatical skills gives us knowledge and information yes yeah. yeah, well talking about uh, the reading newspaper i would like to say it uh, is uh, quite beneficial for us as uh, already uh, two panelists already said uh, we can um, go through new vocab and we can know about what is going on all over the world not only india uh, furthermore i would like to say it is uh, uh we can also increase the, our reading capacity and uh, uh, furthermore uh, we can know the new technology what is going on about uh, the health care or i would say you know crime what is going on so we would be aware about a lot of thing by reading newspaper uh, i'd say that it's a one of the best habit if we follow it okay that's one of the best habit if you follow it like reading newspaper yes mr kanchan sarkar please thank you sir thank you so much so today topic covered the newspaper reading uh, benefited how to the benefit of newspaper reading so it is most important the newspaper newspaper through uh, we have uh, the get the the updated in uh, what is happened in our country uh, world and the uh, states uh, uh, whatever we have <clears throat> uh, whatever we have known and and so basically this the uh, when you talk about this the the uh, the speaking english or the is uh, the english so the um, so newspaper the helps yes us. yes so uh, so first learner the uh, the news uh, the first speak uh, the first speaking learner so uh, so uh, in this newspaper through uh, lots of uh, benefited so uh, uh, new uh, vocabulary or uh, the sen sentence constructions and uh, so so many things okay. we have okay we have thank uh, you benefited. thank you so much for giving your opinion kanchan sarkar right yes, and especially i call everyone sarkar yes. and you are the real sarkar yes, sir. thank you sarkar okay as you all said that reading newspaper is one of the best habit that we all should read newspaper to develop and to improve our english language and words and comprehension and especially about to know the information but when we take the moment we take newspaper we just see the entertainment page how many people agree with this point see that katrina kaif alia but you want to say yes, something about it? yeah well i'm i totally agree with the, this point it's because it's our interest so it is our comfort zone so if we start from that uh, um, by reading this then we end up by reading new um, uh, cricket or uh, some some people are into politics so they end up by reading uh, politics news okay so what do you more focus 
Uh, as far as my thing is concerned, uh, it's a, I like the health or new technology kind of thing, the computer or the new technology which is going on or new things which is about to come in the market. What about you, Sarfaz? What type of news do you like to read? So first of all, uh, people read only based upon their interest mm -hmm. because I think they don't understand other things and, and uh, they don't want to come out uh, from their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So they should read new things. And uh, uh, I focus uh, more on the news like uh, uh, sports and technologies mm -hmm. and uh, business mm -hmm. because also politics is uh, not... <laughs> I am not in... Not uh, like uh, you, right? for, for not Yes, sir. And I don't also want to take it. You don't but ha, uh, business, uh, uh, sports and technologies. Business, sports and technology. Yes, sir. Technology. What about you, Ayush? Uh, sir, I prefer more uh, the first page I open is of sports. Okay. Uh, and uh, political agendas I also read. I also read business to know about the new startups that are going through and the economy that the companies are uh, going through. So my main focus will uh, stays on the political agendas more because uh, i like to uh, acknowledge the fact that the pol what politicians are doing uh, this time in our country like g20 summit is going to be held and uh, more often i read political agendas political more. Agendas. okay so are you more interested in politics you want to be with hack in future no i hmm. don't want to be a with hack but uh, uh, as I'm doing journalism, so I want to focus on more political issues. Well, you are doing journalism, so you want to focus more on political, political issues, issues so yes. that you can also report it in future yes. after being a journalist. Yes. Yes. How, would you like to be a journalist of partiality or impartiality? Uh, impartiality. Impartiality. Yeah. You will not be biased. No. Okay. I don't want to be biased because maximum news channels are biased mm -hmm. uh, in this type. That's why I mostly choose English journalism. Okay. Those guys are not that much biased. Those do uh, good journalism. Few, uh, few journalist names of English or few journalism industries names. Uh, the most uh, I admire is the uh, Palki Upadhyay. Uh, she Pandhi. runs first post. Mm. Uh, it's not that much famous news channel, but she is from India, and she do uh, journalism in English only, and she is a single news reporter in her uh, field. So she's uh, new. She is growing. So that's why I learn. Uh, I learn a lot from her, and then uh, foreign news channels that you are asking. There is uh, BBC. There is uh, TLC News. There are uh, Sony channels too that uh, cast news from uh, sports yeah. and all. Okay. Sir, what do you think? Yes. Yes. Sir, I basically yes. uh, seen this the uh, education related uh, news or uh, cricket or or uh, or um, the editorial page. Most of I have uh, uh, go through. You are very really good on your favorite page. Your article. Open it and go on your favorite article. And uh, I I've, uh, always find out this the uh, which are uh, new adding this the education the new uh, which type of policy government taken and uh, which technology and uh, uh, and uh, uh, after that the uh, uh, the um, the. Cricket, cricket games, sports, games, sports, games. Sports. Which which games are this uh, coming, and uh, which uh, uh, games are uh, uh, this? Uh, which is a new sport? Yes, new sport. Uh, yes. Yes. These things I have also noticed that. Okay, great. Fine. Thank you, Mr. Kanchan Sarkar. Right, we're going to report about this news. Okay, sir. Tell this news to the people. Yes. And your headline is? Yes, sir. This okay, is. fine. Prague and Pragyan on brink of history. Vikram, all set for soft landing as India reaches for the moon today. So, so in English, in English, you make a break. Yes. Okay. Vikram is the name of the satellite which is going to land on the moon today, and uh, it will be a, a tremendous and great achievement for India that it will reach to the moon surface where uh, no one has reached till today. So, when the sun sets on Wednesday. Look at the moon, India may be up there on Wednesday and today is Wednesday and when sun will set like in the evening uh, in the at night. Uh, look at the moon, India may be up there because we know Vikram uh, has been launched and it is going to uh, land on the moon and uh, today at night it will be up there on the moon surface. 
but uh, we have uh, we know that uh, chandrayaan 1 was failed and chandrayaan 2 uh, it uh, was also it also landed but uh, uh, it uh, goes to crash landing and now chandrayaan 3 is going to land on the moon today four years after chandrayaan 2 crash landed on the uh, lunar surface india is at the cusp of making history by landing a probe in the moon's polar region india is going to send chandrayaan 3 uh, means today it will land uh, and uh, it is at the cusp of making history india is going to make history because it will land the uh, it will land the probe in the moon's polar region polar region where no satellite has gone till today and uh, it will probe like a satellite which will collect information about the moon and it will send to india now uh, the us russia and china have landed probes on uh, to the moon uh, three of them in the southern latitudes but india will be the first one if successfully to land close to the lunar south pole we know that us russia and china they three tried also and they landed on the southern latitudes but india is going to land its uh, vikram the satellite on uh, the lunar south pole where no one has reached till today and because of this india will achieve a great achievement and it will be tremendous and it will be historical if it landed successfully on the surface of the moon in uh, polar region uh, polar region south pole vikram this time has uh, sturdier legs that can withstand landing velocities up to 10.8 km per hour isro said vikram has been having a smooth sailing because we know that chandrayaan 1 and 2 failed because of their landings so this time vikram uh, they have made this that it can land up to in uh, 10.8 km per hours in speed and it has sturdier legs and uh, it can land on the surface smoothly without any crashing so uh, it is uh, uh, it, uh, we know that uh, it will land because India has done so many hard work, the scientists, and they learned from their failure uh, of Chandrayaan 1 and 2. And now it's the time uh, today at night when we will land, India will land on the surface of the moon, uh, like the southern polar region where no one has gone today. What's going to land? Chandrayaan 3. Which location? What is the location? South Pole. South Pole. South Pole. Right. Okay. How many failures we have got? Two. Two. Okay, great. So it means Sarfaz reported in a very proper way. Right? How was his reporting? Good. Was good? Outstanding. Fine. Outstanding. Okay. Let's move to another reporter, Ayush. Hawkeye on traffic. Many key roads out of bounds. A dedicated ambulance assistance control room coordinated efforts with map services such as Google Maps, virtual help, de help, help desk for live tracking of VIP movement regulated in New Delhi areas. As we all know, the, the presidents of the, these big, big countries are going to come in Delhi on 8th of uh, September. So a virtual, uh, there is so much uh, assistance of uh, traffic by the government that has uh, given to them like ambulance assistance control room dedicated control room and assistance number will be operational there will be a regulated ambulance if something happens it will be at the spot and uh, do the same as the ambulances six disaster management vehicles on g20 routes to deal with emergencies there are six disaster management vehicles also that will uh, uh, see if there uh, any disaster occur and they take action the sources also say that two to three men will be present in each vehicle the vehicle will be deployed on the routes and near the venues an inspector rank officer will coordinate with the personnel in charge with these vehicles there will be three men in vehicle three men in vehicle uh, policy is first introduced in america by uh, when uh, narendra modi uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited there. Uh, it's for the snipers. If someone uh, sniper uh, is uh, at the far end, if he is seeing, he cannot uh, uh, judge the person sitting in the car. So that's why they put three person by the side of the presidents. The tools inside the vehicles must be life jackets, face mask, gas mask, hand gloves, gym boots, gum boots, 
सेफ्टी शूज हेलमेट ड्रैगन लाइट इमरजेंसी लाइट रेपलिंग रोप एंड मैनी मोर दीज आर फॉर द इमरजेंसीज If any disaster occurs or there is any situation that uh, is needed and these uh, things are needed, then the president, presidents and prime ministers of the other countries shouldn't uh, follow. The main uh, news is that from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. on September 10, traffic will be regulated on the following locations. As we are in uh, Delhi, so we must note these two: New Delhi Railway Station from Ajmeri Gate side. Old Delhi Railway Station, Shama Prasan Mukherjee Road side, Shanti Van Chowk, Geeta Colony side, ITO, Vikas Marg side, Raj Ghat Chowk, Jawal Nehr, Jawal Lal Nehru Marg side, Guru Nanak Chowk, Minto Road side. At these places, the traffic would be uh, worse because it is being regulated, and we all know the crowd of Delhi. So, uh, don't make any plans on this date because there would be so much crowd already there. you should not increase the crowd there and uh, uh, last but not the least uh, there are curbs key to ensuring safety of del delegates too like uh, the movement of buses in the ndmc new Del uh, delhi municipal municipal corporation area could also be restricted means some dtc buses would not be applying from the place that they used to so they will be also closed hence delhi police had written to delhi chief secretary naresh kumar on uh, uh, august 18 in this connection the summit is likely to be attended by 29 heads of states including uh, eu and invitee guest countries and 14 heads of international organization there will be a multiple arrangements and massive scale during this summit so there are total 28 uh, guests as we can say coming from uh, our neighbor countries and all the countries to attend this G20 summit in delhi thank you what was he reporting actually g20 g20 okay and what he cautioned you about what he made you aware about okay fine so why to not go outside Oh, there is rush. Rush. How many countries people are coming? Twenty-eight countries. Okay. Is America involved in this or not? Did he report that? No. No. Did he report? But you have information about it. Okay. The best part of this session is actually, and the worst part of this session, I would like to tell you that, without preparation, <laughs> without any prayer. preparation it's on this spot we came chalo aaj ye kar rahe and you are doing great i think it's so like it's we can say that it's a fantastic okay let's move to mr rahman the today's news is the world the world is near, uh, nearing the end of the user id password is uh, for some 60 years now the world has been using user id and passwords they have becoming increasingly the bane of our lives they are irritating when you have to the government is thinking not only government the, the whole world together is thinking to if we want to work on any kind of you know a laptop or computer so we not need to use that big password so let's see what they are talking about the good news is we are probably nearing the end of the password era freedom from the password that is what we are discussed on our webinar last week on the occasion of independence day so so definitely uh, after some time it would be uh, good for all, all of us we not need to remember a lot of passwords sometime we forget then we are putting them again and again then it blocks so we will be eradicated from this problem that's all for today's news okay fine great yes sir tension sir khan thank you sir prak prak create a world history in chess so uh he's uh, prak prak the life journey actually uh, 2014 he create a world uh, under 8 champion after that 2015 uh, he create a world uh, under 10 championship and 2016 he create a uh, Uh, Prak uh, made his first international 
uh, international master at Canons and uh, become the world youngest international at the age of 10 years and 10 months. After that, 2017, he created a uh, history. Uh, he, uh, ha, uh, he, his uh, he, uh, age, 12 years, he played and uh, won simultaneously games with the adults in the Netherlands. And 2018, uh, become the world second youngest grandmaster, Indian uh, 52 uh, grandmaster at the age of 12 years. 10 months, 13 days, and played the against mentor and former world champion Vishwanath Anand for the first time over the board in tournament. And 2009, uh, under 18, uh, he was a champion. And 2022, uh, he faced Magnus Carlsen for the first time over the board, and uh, he became the Asian champion to confirm ticket for the 2023 and uh, lastly, the 2023, he uh, held Carlson for the first time in over the board tournament at Tata Steel Masters in the same tournament. Prague defeated a current world champion, Diang Lian. Okay, what he reported That's about? You didn't get that? Uh, for the championship Prague, right? Yeah, he's Prague. from India. Prague. He's a young yes. youth. Yeah. Right? He's from South. Yeah, yeah. South yeah. India. You reported a news related to Chandrayaan 3. And you reported a news related to G20. And now we have two panelists favoring Chandrayaan 3. And we have two panelists favoring G20. They will be giving importance to Chandrayaan 3 is the most important for our country and they will be giving importance to G20. Why and why? How and how? They will raise their points. And I will be putting some namak on the jala hua ghao. Right. It means I will be putting some fuel to fire. First of all, I want to ask you all yes, sir. that Chandrayaan 3 we sent, it got two times failure. Lakhs and crores of rupees were invested and spent, I can't say wasted. There are many people living below poverty line. They're not being fulfilled for eating and drinking and living under shelters. Is this the Chandrayaan 3? And again, I'm coming to you, Mr. Ayush, that you reported about G20 that is going to conduct the meetings of 28 countries that all the delegates and dignitaries are coming on 8th of September to our country. Traffics will be there. Roads will be jammed and trafficked. There will be barriers, problems, commotion, and for all the common people. And lakhs and crores of rupees are being invested and wasted. What do you think about it? So let's discuss. Please give your points. Why Chandrayaan 3 is more important than G20? G20 is more important than Chandrayaan 3. Please. Sir, so first of all, I would like to say that Chandrayaan 3 is uh, very, very important because if our country uh, doesn't send any satellite or like Chandrayaan 3 to the moon, then other countries will go there and they will have the information about uh, the uh, solar system or outer space or the moon uh, more than our country. So our country should um, uh, be first uh, that uh, goes to that uh, uh, part of the moon to collect information, have information um, have information about outer space so uh, we can uh, be ahead from other countries. And We can be ahead from other countries, other countries. if we go to Chandrayaan 3. Hmm. Why G20? Why not Chandrayaan 3? Chandrayaan 3 is going to occur on the moon. First, we have to uh, focus on the problems related to Earth. There are, we, Mr. Narendra Modi is building relationships with the other countries also to empower the economical growth and the uh, physical growth of India too. Because many, those countries only uh, celebrate the G20 summit which are already powerful. So it is a very proud moment for India because it has been a powerful economy and a powerful country uh, to organize G20 summit here. So that's why uh, the most focus on G20 summit would be given. And uh, uh, giving the answer of Sir's uh, statement that so many rupees are uh, being invested in this. 
so uh, the government has already given the notice that there will be a government holiday for 8 to 11th all the offices will be closed but the one the only on one condition that the offices will occur on work from home mode and the schools will also occur on uh, online classes which we have also seen in post lockdown period uh, so that's a, not that the if they are investing g20 because they are building relationships with other countries also and making india strong they are building relationship inside the territory of the world yes. what is wrong in this what about the chandrayaan 3 why to send chandrayaan 3 he is talking about that what about the space if we are not connected with our earth yes mr rahul any countering point i as far as my point of view is concerned both are uh, must because by doing both the thing we can improve uh, our economy or our understanding about uh, the universe no but i think uh, you, you you need to object this you have to object this because both cannot be important for you yes. yeah for, as far as the two approval of india is concerned especially in delhi so as you already told we are spending up millions or trillions of the money on these thing and people are dying because of lack of the food mm. so it is the i think primary thing but uh, we are together with the, the you know other countries so that's why we are doing it otherwise our uh, first priority must be giving the importance to g20 yeah right? first priority should be the to primary. fulfill the primary uh, things of exactly. the indian people sir first you want to counter yes, this point sir, i was fine i want to say that sir uh, like uh, we are doing uh, in the earth mm -hmm. uh, engaging the other countries making relationship and it is very good but the most important thing is that uh, as we know the richest person uh, on this planet earth is elon musk uh, he is a, a very great person and uh, he said that like uh, dinosaurs uh, like they vanished uh, they died uh, because of uh, some asteroids or uh, outer space activities mm -hmm. so it is possible it is possible that uh, uh, so one day it will happen again and the humanity will uh, be vanished and uh, it will uh, be endangered so because of that we are uh, doing uh, great relationships making uh, inside the earth with other countries but it's uh, the uh, it's uh, a matter of our whole universe that uh, if you are getting information about outer uh, universe uh, moon or mars then we can also think to create life there so it is also important we can create life there mm. and if we are just exploring as he say, said about elon musk statement you know what's wrong in this actually i want to correct you that elon musk is not focusing on moon he is focusing on mars, mars yes, and yes. that's uh, the uh, statement i would also like to that india should also focus on mars because the west people has already discovered so much on the moon and there is no possibility of anything of finding minerals or anything on moon moon is a uh, space which the matlab moon is a place where most countries are just competing with with each other to fulfill their uh, inner Uh, power that who has reached more who has reached more but we should also focus on the future generation that is going to come because uh, it is said that the earth would also collapse in 200 to 300 years uh, because of the finishing of the natural uh, things all that are present so yeah that's good but if you are living in present you should also think about the uh, domestic things that are going in your uh, india instead of uh, going on moon i think we should also go on mars focus on so you mars you want to say this that going on moon is yeah. just an abbreviation yes all right it is more competitive more ruckus more rushy all right so why are you actually favoring this chandrayaan 3 why are you just so much uh, actually battering it that yes we should go Okay. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, first of all, he said right that we should explore Mars also. But uh, going in uh, Chandrayaan, uh, going to the Moon, it is also important because it's a part of our solar system, and Moon is a very important, essential part uh, uh, for the universe that the universe uh, works properly. Moon, Sun, everything. Mm -hmm. So. as much as we can collect information about anything about sun about moon earth mars we can just collect or gather it because everything will uh, give a benefit uh, to us if everything we know something yes us. sir uh, mr uh, kanchan sarkar what are your statements that you would like to state so already uh, my friend uh, told that uh the chandrayaan 3 is the most uh, not that much uh, important so 
actually my point of view the g20 is the most important uh, in the present era so you are also invited there <laughs> yes, yes, yes sir, sir. <laughs> yes sir so uh, this our country uh, this others countries we have uh, uh, we have the relation good so so many things we have the uh, export import uh, uh, so we easily we have uh, the um, the, the uh, we easily have, we can connect and network yes, to other yes, countries yes 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 right. sir uh, okay yes. fine you have stated right that we must have a relationship with the yes. uh, our territory or our space is very important as you compared to uh, that chandrayaan 3 that we should not uh, give so much importance to the space or mars or moon so i want to ask the same question that india should be first priority or the connections with the other countries should be the first priority of course india should be the first priority but connections with other uh, countries should increase the uh, the cap cap capacity of india to hold the grudges with other countries like china if america's uh, superpower is with india china could not uh, uh, involve in india's uh, army or you said the riots going at india china border but we also should uh, uh, there's this statement that in india we say vasudev kutum hmm. which means one world one family hmm. Hmm. so our whole world is our family so we should build more relationship not in our, in our territory only but also outside like european countries and the arabic countries so that's my point okay that's your point means we should have uh, connections with all 197 countries yes. or all the entire world we should have uh, connections right this will build a uh, great relationship and this connection yeah. okay uh, yeah you have a point sir please. i have a uh, one question over here if you know there are 10 members in a family and they are fighting so what do you think so if we are not living together with happy ness or peace then how we can connect other people other family so first of all we need to be in peace like in india as we know what is happening nowadays in some like tripura or in haryana so if we are not able to settle down this situation or this condition how we can connect a better connection even they also make the joke by hearing or listening it yes. they make a joke of that inside you are not safe and you have no unity integrity what do you want to say and how do you like to state uh, it uh, you want to answer this please one question no, uh, first uh, answer yeah, yeah, this then yeah, yeah, question yeah, yeah, who would like to answer this question no, no, no. Yes. okay so you are saying india cannot resolve the uh, first of all i didn't say india cannot for i i said what is happening in india first we need to settle down it if we are uneducated how we can uh, teach anyone okay okay so uh, that's the government procedure that government is also doing the best uh, it can and it it's not only resolving uh, in india's problem it's resolving the foreign problems also uh, like when ukraine uh, russia war was going on some of the ukraine students come with indian students naming them as indian some of the pakistan students also came uh, as the putting indian flag on the indian buses so it it's not only uh, concluding like you cannot say that because of two three or riots a uh, whole government system is uh, in one person you know have have his value so we cannot say oh, one or two states are burning it's it's okay it's not the answer it's not the answer that if he said that uh, if haryana has been affected or that the manipur has been affected so these are your uh, spaces these are your places and you are conducting a g20 meeting right you are connection uh, connecting to the foreign okay. what about your states okay. and districts see there is this time limit that government take to work because it has so many officials and you have recently read the news that uh, shrinagar has also con uh, what you say has organized a small g20 meeting there also if you take back 3 or 4 years you know how shrinagar was how jammu and kashmir was so indian government has also resolved their issues too so it takes time in the government system where this is this wide democracy and this uh, uh, diverse democracy there is because india is the most biggest democracy in the world so it takes time and That's, the population is so much this is the only reason i'm saying we are the largest democracy of the yeah. world so we should work in our country as you already uh, told in jammu kashmir or srinagar the things are not has been changed a lot i recently went to kashmir for 10 days so it, still there you know the, the fighting is going over there the murder or you know crimes are happening like that earlier but as we are improving day by day in in every field it's a technical or mechanical anything so in that point of view we are improving 
But uh, one more thing, uh, uh, Srinagar, uh, the matter of Srinagar is okay. Uh, the country held G20 summit small, but uh, the uh, which is uh, going on in Manipur or other state, it should be uh, it should be settled in a few days because it's not uh, like uh, that uh, big matter. Uh, it is uh, of our state matter. It should be settled. Uh, hardly it would take two or three days. We ha we are in power, so you know the everything like you know the police or force is in uh, under center, so they can work. Why does the government is not doing this? Because we they are also our people, aren't they? See, there is one Article Three Forty Seven. If government uh, implies it, there will be all the. Uh, army officers going on if there is any group listen to me first i, I will complete my statement there will be whole group uh, there you cannot uh, make a group of four people or there will be a shoot at site order so government is just uh, uh, what we say that government is just trying to resolve yeah government is just trying to resolve that no issue should be conducted there where jahan Unko ye dhara lagani pad jaye. That's why it's uh, resolving it peacefully and it cannot uh, uh, resolve a single particular person if a sing single particular person is doing that crime. Yes, police is there, but they are working on that and it takes time. We are not talking about a government favor unfair. We are talking about the humanity. The people, life does concern, you know. It matters, your life, my life or their life. First, we need to work on this. Uh, then we we should not protect the government like that. If we are not government uh, person. Uh, Mr. Rahul is stating that life matters. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> that's totally that, on the topic. And uh, we all know, actually, sir. Yes, we have crossed the uh, border. We have crossed our space, actually, right? We were on the point of G20 versus yes. Chandra. Yes. And then, then points started increasing, exactly, right? Sir. One thing I added, mm -hmm. I added to. So my friend is uh, rightly said that. So uh, first priority our uh, I, I, uh, our country, then after the relationships uh, these other countries. You are also so, opposing your partner, uh, yes. right? <laughs> yes. So <laughs> yes, uh, the uh, two things are most important. <laughs> now the first our states, then after this the. No, the you foreign country. Okay. <laughs> second thing, second thing. So you want to oppose G20, right? No, no. I think completely. Uh, two, two components most important, sir. Two, uh, the this Manipur or the Haryana, the, the, this uh, happened, but it is the state. Uh, uh, the um, actually, what is it? Haryana is not a part of the debate. Your debate, G20 yes. and Chandra. Yes, yes, yes. Before yes. Before. yes. 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 Yes
So it can be country yard. We have country yard like Delhi yard. So near the Delhi. Yeah, yeah. Delhi and Delhi. Yeah. It's, it's in country. It's, it's conducted in country yard only. It's for the protection the way. Country yard means in India. I am not saying away, I am not saying not away from the India in India, but in a the place where there are not lot of population. Not population would not be you know affected by like this. Uh, uh, yeah, this summit. Yeah. So let's conduct it in Goa. Why not? Uh, they will. Uh, yeah. They will also enjoy. There are no population. <laughs> Less population. Right. So it should be conducted. It is very important to um, get relationships good. Uh, but uh, the thing is that uh, first of all we should more focus in our country. That what is going on and happening and our company. country. Yes, sir. After Relationship that, with other countries. Right. After other countries. After I that. After uh, space. Forty forty seconds. Concluding point. 40 seconds concluding point from each and every yes okay sir the first thing is that we should focus in our country every state the central government state government okay every state then we uh, should uh, just uh, uh, make a good relationship with other countries in businesses in everything and then the outer space also because everything is necessary because in today's modern world anything can happen anytime so we should be uh, we should be ready for our country other countries and for the outer space for too the outer space also. by the way we won the debate we told you told that second priority should be relationships <laughs> we already won so I next said. priority should be chandrayaan yeah. you are just resembling from your own point i, think they are, I, I am they just starting from the I started from the base. No, he he is just told. Yes, he is just everything is important. He is accepting his defeat. You are accepting or not? Expect, uh, accepting. I just started from the basics, and I am telling that everything is important. Everything not is important. Be, uh, just uh, relationships and uh, the God is best. Very interconnected. Uh, First people, country, then other countries, then space, outer space. Okay. So yeah, I think Chandrayaan three is important, and it's it would be a great milestone that India would reach. a uh, moon with so much less budget less budget of uh, uh, i think 6 to only 700 crores which took only uh, one adi purush movie to make <laughs> so it's a good good thing but uh, with, uh, rather than i think going to other planets or uh, uh, going to any other thing we should also focus on our future future generation that is G20 summit is going on many startups would be opened many plans would be introduced and many goals must be focused and ucc code should they are saying that there are rumors that ucc code would be always uh, will be always also civilized in g20 summit also Achha, which is betterment of the U country only ucc but many people yeah. are opposing we will also conduct a debate on ucc yeah. as well it's so it's hard, giving hard it's giving an upgradation of your country only it's not giving a upgradation of any other right it's <laughs> It's for the future, but how do we for the future? To the future, future to the future. Okay. Well, statement, last statement, concluding statement. Yeah, well, talking up, uh, talking about uh, all these in a nutshell, I would say, uh, everything should be done as it is happening. But we should take care about ourselves individually. We should take care every, um, I would say, every state, every district, every village. Then, simultaneously, we should work what we are doing. That's all for okay. today. Okay, Mr. Chandra, Kanchan uh, Sarkar. Thank you, sir. What? <clears throat> one of the most uh, important uh, the, uh, the now nowadays the highlighted is india india the first initiative this the uh, how to the good relationships this other countries so one of the uh, most <laughs> country in india so every country every um, uh, country uh, with good relationship it is the most important It's so the most you, important to have connections with yeah, other connections countries. Yeah, connections with these others uh, countries, yeah. peoples, and what do you call it? Relations with cultures. Uh, so, uh, so, so many things we have. Uh, this uh, right. Okay. Fine. Now the last. My audience, audience of these panelists, four panelists, you raise your questions to these people, whatever they stated. Ask your questions. Inke jawab. आज ये लकी है पहले से बैठे हुए हैं और आप इनके ऑडियंस हैं प्लीज सर फर्स्ट ईयर हम यस यस प्लीज 
you both are we say that okay firstly we should uh, we should improve our country state and after that we will do a this type of project from belize not to say from belize i am talking about <laughs> okay our country so if we live in a family huh? In, fa uh, fa uh, in family member we have a five member hmm. so it is confirmed that every member have a different identity hmm. So that is not the important thing. Uh, Twenty nine states uh, have a same mentality. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if India is a very large country, then it is possible. If some states have a con uh, so you already conflict. you already accepted that it is not possible. No, if we are we are <laughs> talking about yes. another country, you are talking about another country. Mm -hmm. That they also to fight to each other. Some uh, country fight. They fight inside. Inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a part of a uh, country. If you live in a big country, the Definitely. There will be fights. We will fight. No, no. Listen, uh, India is a very big country, first most populous country. Now it is and the seventh largest country in area. And uh, because of this, we got so many benefits. Like uh, uh, in this vast land, we got so many minerals and other things and uh, transportation, so many things. So if you are getting so many benefits uh, uh, with this uh, large area of our country, then we will get problems also. We need to deal with this. Problem uh, saying benefits behind it. A second, I would say. That's what she is saying. My question is this: so, ki, uh, there will be, there, uh, huh, there, there, there may be some conflicts. Everybody but, know that India is the largest country, but huh. it is it's not a cup of tea hmm. to handle our government. But uh, my question is, sir, you say that uh, hmm. first priority is that you should improve uh, parts of the state, hmm. and first, and after that you should try to uh, other another project like the Tanzania. They are also part of our country because everybody country wants to make a good relation because they want to expand and explore the market. They want G20 is the part of the main focus. Well, your question is over, so I would like to answer. Well, it's a good question. You sit down, have a seat. So, you know, India is the biggest country as far as population is concerned nowadays. So, so India population is not just uh, it's become after 2014. Before 14, India was like that. But the fighting like in Tripura, in the, you know, in the, uh, Haryana, these things were not happening earlier. Get my point? So it is a duty of the main, like prime minister, if in a family of father, or it's a duty. So he or she, not she in this case, work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You know, if you are a family, you have to, your your sibling. Come to human values. <laughs> yeah, human values come first. If whatever we become. If you are on the moon or Mars, but human value is compass. You are more affected with this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not affected. Of you, course, if you know, if there is a blood on your finger, so I would be affected. Affected, exactly. So I should. And, exactly. And one more point is that it is now happening in only one or two states. So it is now a small problem. The uh, state government and central government can't uh, uh, make it. But if it will uh, goes upon more states then it will be big problem so now it is the time to uncontrollable yes so now it is the time it can be solved what will happen if we entangle once again uh, corona type disease what is more important chandrayaan or g8 <laughs> yeah ma'am what then ah, g20 or chandrayaan then what is more important then nothing is important Actually, if, if we are no, actually, listen, first of all, G20 was, G20 was held in an online mode also <laughs> in Corona time. So, listen, yeah. we but should not gather uh, every I country's people. Yeah, this is the solution. Uh, all countries, one uh, country, yes, country, yes, please meet yes, us. It, hap it has happened. So, I have one. Yes. So I have yeah, one question over here. India has introduced its own medicine. You have a question for him. That's for everyone. Uh, so you yeah. know we are spending million or trillions money, but you know during Corona time we didn't have uh, that you know oxygen, the hospital or, or you know the ventilators. So why we are not working on this? It can happen again. Yeah. Who knows? So we are but, but we are spending million trillions dollars. Why? So, what do you think? That you have also the same point, same yeah. statement. What are the importance of Chandrayaan 3 and G20? Why G20 not? G20 is important. No? G20 is important. important. But Chandrayaan 3 is not important. Less important. So, your, so your, so your question was with them. Yeah. <laughs> and not us. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As our uh, brother said, that. Uh, as uh, and uh, listen and uh, as uh, I thought you are. Ma'am, 
and as he ha as he said that uh, we are not spending on like uh, medicines or health sector then we are spending uh, many countries like bombs hydrogen bomb nuclear bomb spending millions of million dollar to destroy the earth or humanity so why should we not uh, spending in this health sector why we we ha uh, we get a lack of uh, uh, ventilators oxygen why and in, when it comes to bombs or uh, ammunition <laughs> ammunition so much yes so much. प्रोटेक्ट दिस well first of all uh, your question is wonderful we should i should appreciate it you know so we have no question we want anything can happen any time as you know told corona it was a virus the microscopic virus so it can happen in electricity it may go away so we cannot do it online as well <laughs> yep say <laughs> one we cannot do it from moon also <laughs> <laughs> we cannot do it from reaching moon also it can happen yeah who knows We are living in uncertainty. We are living in uncertainty. Sir, one thing I told you. Uh, during uh, during Corona time, uh, our country uh, sent our this uh, vaccines. Ukraine <laughs> vaccine. 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 vaccines 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 uh, equipments are uh, donate this the uh, different countries mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes our country donated to different countries and you are saying our country was affected hamara <laughs> 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 so, uh, desh dusre deshon ko diya so priya told us it corona about corona so i didn't say what i said uh, what i said i didn't say any, i didn't said anything against my country I can't. He's doing good. Yeah. Just we spend more. In yes. You yeah. said that relationships would not be focused. Yeah. I didn't say we should not each other, uh, help each other. I didn't say. What I said during Corona time, we have lack of oxygen. Everybody knows we have we there was lack of ventilator. So why should not we? you know expand on these things so that if it ha uh, happen again so even even now patient. even now you know if you go to aims hospital if, if there is any kind of emergency lack of oxygen they will say we don't have ventilator go away okay. even can now can i help in that but the a survey when for नंबर <laughs> 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 even but now there, everyone there knows everyone knows but there are problems so we, we should not government. support all the the, the government if there is any i want to say something i want to add uh, yes that we are always you know complaining our government government don't do this i'm not saying bjp i'm saying congress both yes, government don't, has don't, don't, name yes. the, don't name the party okay don't, <laughs> don't name the party. that why why corona why corona comes because of human being not the government what i'm so talking about you are, are you are you are taking we are eating mula 
We are eating different types of animals. It's also controversial. Why don't we? No, 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 no. First of all, you should ask me question the related. I didn't say because of government happened. But what I'm saying, we should be prepared. Get my point. So there is no fault of government. Either it's uh, any government, earlier government also. So these kind of thing can happen any time. Please try to understand me. These kind of thing can happen any time. So we should be prepared. We should keep more oxygen things, more ventilator. I'm saying this. So this can be for you know for you know the.